<rire> ça va être top, on va, on va suivre ce reveal ensemble, je, je suis très très hype, cette petite pause de saison. Merci beaucoup Druid, euh, m'a permis de, bah, de prendre du recul, et euh, ça faisait du bien, des fois il faut, 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 faut skipper une saison pour ensuite revenir et, et prendre son, son kiff euh, quand on, on revient, et c'est le cas, donc après on, re, on ira sur, sur la nouvelle saison là, à 19h, là, dans 18, 17, 16 secondes je pense qu'on va passer du coup en full screen, comme j'ai dit, c'est le nouveau système. Hein. On est en full screen sur les euh, cinématiques. On espère que ça va démarrer par une cinématique. Hein. Hop, on se met comme ceci, comme ça, on a les deux. Je me mute bien entendu. Quand ça démarre, si ça démarre, il faut qu'ils appuient sur le bouton eux aussi. Merci beaucoup, même talk. Merci. <rire> le son des alertes qui est très fort. Terrible. Chute le chat, c'est ça. Est-ce qu'on a une cinématique ou bien Ah yes. Ah non, c'est une interview. I'm Mark Northworthy. I'm the Destiny 2 uh, general manager. I'm Luke Smith, and I'm the Destiny 2 game director. Before we started the show today, we wanted to just acknowledge the circumstances and the unprecedented times we're in. Um, this is not how. On les explique bien sûr, c'était pas prévu comme ça. Hein. Uh, to talk about the future of Destiny 2. On s'en doute. And reveal where we're headed with, with the team. Um, You know, this shows not how we find it. We do find it from our living rooms and you know basements and with our. Il y a pas de sous-titres. Non mais ils sont en train de dire c'était galère, hein, bien sûr, d'organiser tout ça et de continuer à dev le jeu. Yeah, the uh, this is just, there's like a there's like an inherent weirdness to this. Even the weirdness of you know this is the first time. On n'avait pas prévu ces chaises. Tu as monté son lag, je peux un petit peu ouais. I don't know if people know, but outside of the show that is work, like those are actually pretty close. Like, we hang out, we talk all the time. Our our significant others are buddies. Like, uh, so, you know, this is it's like it's super weird just to see you in person. Yeah, not on yeah. a screen. Yeah, not yeah. on this little like Zoom screen on an iPad or something. Like it's just it's just totally. Ils ont la distanciation, vous avez vu? Visuals and certainly our hope was that it would be more than just us two talking about this stuff. Um, and over the course of the summer, Parfait, a super. bunch more folks from the team are gonna are gonna talk about what, what, what we're up to, what we're gonna be up to. Let's get the show started. Oh, switch. Oui. This is what I brought you here to see. Oh! 
le 22 septembre, les rumeurs étaient justes. C'est pas Anna, c'est l'inconnu. <rire> les gens, c'est l'inconnu. Yes, un personnage fort intéressant. So, uh, Luke, is it finally time to explain? Oh, you know, listen, like some jerk said that the st we were done with the stranger story and as you get back into Destiny and you keep like looking around and finding stones to uncover, a character who says that she's not forged in light and where the two of you meet, ground can break becomes a pretty interesting tool to to leverage here in uh, Destiny 2 Beyond. Ça me stresse leur distanciation là. You know, it is the beginning of a brand new era in Destiny 2. This fall, you're going to discover Europa, a brand new destination, and Donc, Europa, the first bien sûr, confirmé. we envisioned long ago when Destiny began. This is the birthplace of Exa, and the site of a newly active pyramid ship. As a player, you're going to face Aramis, a fallen warrior wielding a brand new power born from a very ancient darkness. Like you, Aramis is a leader, but unlike you, she seeks revenge against the Traveler for scattering her people's once great houses to the cosmic winds. It's up to you to confront Aramis and her growing empire no. on the frozen battlegrounds of Europa. And it's up to you to go beyond and discover long Gosh. dormant secrets hidden beneath the surface in places lost to time, like... The Deep Stone Crypt. Yes, there you go. That one I Lower heard corner. Of. That one I yeah. heard of, yeah. Doing it. There's a lot more to Europa than you might imagine. And here's your first look at gameplay from Destiny 2. Interrompu. Ah, let's go. Oh, putain, les nouvelles scènes, on est d'accord. from Darkness 1. <laughs> I have witnessed this firsthand. I refuse to let it happen again. It's time the truth presented itself to you. Darkness resides within, beckoning you. This is a truth we cannot hide from. And so we must embrace it. between light and dark is so very thin. Let's cross it together. Attends, vous avez vu ce qui vient de dire La frontière entre la lumière et l'obscurité, vous voyez Euh, et fine Passons-la ensemble Les ténèbres. Guardians, the destruction they crave. Son nom devient le méchant, mais de ouf. Doctrine Tenet, c'est une bonne théorie. It's time to wield the darkness. We've been waiting. Destiny 2 Beyond Light ships to all currently supported platforms on September 22nd this year, and it kicks off a new era in Destiny, where players will discover the true nature of the light and the dark, not just walking the thin line between. But wielding the darkness itself as a weapon with stasis. Okay, on va complètement embrasser les ténèbres, quoi, en possibilité. You know, obviously, we're going to end up showing more throughout the course of the summer. And the other thing is, stasis, this new power, isn't just going to be Guardian supers and abilities. It's a brand new damage type. So that means it's going to ultimately sit alongside Solar, Arc, and Void as the first new element we've introduced to the game since the original Destiny release. Okay, donc c'est un nouvel élément à part entière. This is a big deal, like. It's a big deal to add this to the universe. Like it changes everything. And it's a lot of work. <laughs> Today, yeah, you got a glimpse of this this new power, and it's it's definitely the pursuit and acquisition and, and the player's ability to wield it. It's something that's going to be woven in through the narrative of the game. Like the game is kind of a collision course between you and and Aramis, and uh, we're going to show you a bunch more about Stasis later in the year. Because though we're excited about what we're delivering this fall, we did say that Destiny 2 Beyond Light was the beginning. Of a new era. What does that mean? Well, it, it means that we're thinking about destiny beyond just any given year and thinking about it over time. And so we want to take a look into kind of the long future of destiny. But when you want to look Ça ahead, ce avait dit que un challenge et tout. it all starts back at the beginning. But I prefer too this format. We have plenty of cinematics. We can't ever make them do things at home. Oh, c'est le cinématique qu'on a vu dimanche. <rire> oui, SpaceX. 
the Traveler, and its arrival changed us forever. Eyes up, Guardian. You must push back the darkness. Guardians are fighting on Earth and beyond. Join them. Oh non, j'espère pas. Attends, il va pas sortir des 1 sur PC par contre, parce que je viens de recommencer moi. Il y a deux semaines. <rire> non, dites pas des bêtises. <rire> non, 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 non. <rire> Ce blast aussi qui recommence en même temps qu'il dit ah non, hein. <rire> T'imagines, bah c'est pas grave, on recommence. Non, ça me va. Tu vois pas l'intérêt de l'un sur PC <rire> Le framerate, bon sang Le framerate We thought we were indestructible. Non, non, mais vous dites des bêtises, ce sera pas ça. C'est bon. Arrêtez. Il y a plein de gens qui aimeraient jouer à D1 en plus pour pas les consoles. Mais... Pfiou, ça récap, c'est trop ça. Destiny 2 Battle Royale, les gens. C'est tout, c'est tout. Je vois que ça. <rire> Et sur TI82. <rire> Pack D1 plus D2. Non, mais arrête! Mais arrêtez! Je meurs si c'est ça. Je refais un compte et je refais tout. <rire> Genre, j'enchaîne D1 et D2. Mais c'est pas ça. Arrêtez. Taisez-vous! <rire> Caplol, pareil, pareil. T'inquiète. How long has it sat in silence watching us? Je te dis sans doute qu'il y a bien un PC. Responsible for our collapse, our coming back. We've been waiting. Très belle euh, cinématique en tout cas de Rewind. We are your salvation. Voilà. <rire> La tête du perso Un titan quoi Tu sais toi déjà non Non On m'a rien dit Non 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 Et j'ai rien demandé you know Oui Les Doritos The Witch Queen 2021 Quoi Aside should always be 2022 mais quoi Mais mais quoi <rire> Des signes de Lightfall 2022 It's gonna continue with the next major expansion, the Witch Queen, and Lightfall is gonna kind of drive this all to a uh, to a moment. These three releases represent this. Il y aura jamais de trois. Ah non c'est sûr. Ça, These eras began après, really hein. in 2014 with that era of light where you know players entered Destiny for the first time. 2030. They were resurrected. They went to the tower. They learned about oh. you know, the things the children were scared of, and you know we we exited that era uh, when we became guardians. We are now coming out of an era of loss of our powers, one of our mentors, our innocence, and soon. Non, il n'y a pas de trois depuis, surtout leur scission avec euh, Apti. Mais peut-être ça aurait été le 3, tu vois, s'il n'y avait pas eu. Last year, we laid out a vision for the game that we wanted to build the definitive action MMO. Encore au pays ancien, pas. Quand tu joues à WoW, tu payes aussi, hein. C'est pas pour ça que c'est bien, hein. On aurait tous que ce soit tout gratuit. Mais après, il ferait plus de contenu, quoi. C'est pas ouf. Mais on est marré, hein. Moi, la première. And to be clear, listen, I'm sure like over here in the Twitch chat, there's like, you know, some mix of salt and space. Non, mais c'est une scène, ils ont balancé ça comme ça. We haven't gotten everything right out of the gate. You know, for example, we've already begun working on changes that we're going to make to our seasonal model in year four to 
Get a bunch of the FOMO that's in the game right now out of it. And this is a... Ok, ils vont retravailler le, le, le système des saisons en année 4, puisque ça ne plaît pas forcément. C'est gratuit de passer sur PS5 et c'est gratuit de passer sur Xbox One X. Si vous avez déjà les trucs, vous payez pas plus. Intergenerational crossplay platform ecosystem as well. This means that if you your brothers plan on PS4 and your sisters crossplay entre PS4, PS5, Xbox One et Xbox One X. The Xbox ecosystem. This year we're focused on intergenerational play. Hopefully next year we can finally do the thing and get them all playing together in the same ecosystem. Et l'an prochain ils visent le fait de tout jouer ensemble. Shadow brought back the moon and upgraded and enhanced it. And so we we brought a destination out of the vault. Il y en a qu'on prévu de les acheter là ici à la prochaine génération direct ou pas? We're not doing that with this fall's destination Europa. It's a brand new place you've never been before. And both the Witch Queen and Lightfall are going to also include brand new never before seen destinations. Il y aura bien sûr des nouvelles destinations dans les deux extensions. Ça timeline that's going to bring much anticipated enemies to the forefront and hopefully deliver some twists, turns, drama that uh, we don't think anyone's going to see coming. But to deliver these big content beats each and every year and keep building on top of our Tu peux faire un sondage ça moi s'il te plaît Technological leaps forward. We also need to make some big Genre tu mets PS5, so Xbox One X, pas tout de suite. Legacy content. The stuff that maybe is getting a little long in the tooth that you're not really looking at and playing anymore. You're not. De Destiny, really... Destiny 2 is a huge game. We have nine destinations, 40 story missions, 54 adventures, 42 lost sectors, 17 strikes, 31 PvP maps, 7 raids, and hundreds of game systems that layer on top of that. I could go on, and I've probably screwed up one of those numbers. The fact is, the game is too large to efficiently update and maintain. We're on track to be like 115 gigabytes on PlayStation alone, and our updates to the game are huge. And we're starting to reach the console. Les cheats étaient déjà là sur sur console, hein, like les gens. We don't want to start off from scratch. Télécharger pour 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 être déco, c'est pas au point. In order to we would have to stop supporting Destiny 2. Like it would effectively. C'est le commande là. You know, we have a single evolving world, a single evolving world, not multiple evolving worlds, but a single evolving world, and we don't want people to have to start over. We don't want to have that loss of continuity with our game systems and our communities and all the players together. We don't want to put another number on the box. So instead, here's our plan. Each year, just as a new expansion comes out, we're going to cycle older, less actively played activity and destination content out of the live game and into what we're calling the Destiny Content Vault. Voilà, je vous ai lancé le sondage. Moving content into this vault is going to allow us to add support for D2 for years, including Beyond Light, The Witch Queen and Lightfall. This vault is also going to allow us to take content from Destiny 1, do some work on it, get it ready to come back into the Destiny 2 ecosystem. So we're not just going to be taking stuff away, we're also going to be going into those the classic vaults and kind of bringing some stuff back or unvaulting activity and destination content each year. Ok, ils veulent réintégrer petit à petit des contenus de D1. Right? Like, what's, what are the new des activités, we can des choses comme ça. What's something from the past that was like pretty cool that could be made even better if it existed today? And what, is, what does that look like? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that people 
there's a lot of awesome stuff that the team has built over the you know six years of six years of making Destiny and that Destiny two players totally have missed out on. Like later this year, Destiny one's Cosmo is coming back this year. Oh, voilà, la Sparrow of the League. It's three strikes are also <laughs> going to come back during season 12 and season Oof. 13. And part of the awesome thing here is a bunch of players haven't played Sepix. Sepix was the strike from the beta way back in like summer 2014. Il parle de l'assaut like, celui où on a respawn il y a deux semaines la direct sur le boss. Sepix le premier assaut. Yeah, il dit qu'il y en a plein qui l'ont pas vécu et c'est dommage. Donc je pense qu'ils vont intégrer petit à petit l'idée en c'est ça l'idée en fait. On peut le voir comme du réchauffé ou l'occasion. Ça fait 6 ans, ces pics. Ça fait 6 ans. Imagine le revoir en. Ça, les gens, tu sais que la commune des, 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 des Destiny n'attend que ça, le retour du caveau de verre sur D2. Europa. En vrai, c'est trop le kiff de le rejouer en... Après, je suis d'accord qu'il ne faut pas que ça. Il faut du vrai nouveau contenu. Je suis totalement d'accord. We're also going to be conducting a bunch of interviews to answer your big questions, MV, and hein. we will continue the conversation with coverage in our ongoing This Week at Bungie community conversations, as well as there will be a bunch of player support and DPS articles about this all summer long. You know, we've we've placed a bunch of bets on the Destiny Cosmic board, whether it's the Traveler waking up, whether it's the Stranger. Ouais, ça, le but, c'est que ce soit Destiny, pas Destiny 1, Destiny 2. So much more to explore. Ils sont plus dans le côté 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to start to bring a bunch of these threads <laughs> and here's a look at the beginning of those threads coming home to roost this summer in Season of Arrivals. C'est le MV américain. <laughs> ah, c'était marrant ça. C'était beaucoup trop long, mais c'est marrant. And with allies like Rasputin, who can stop us? From Titan to Mercury, their shadow reaches. Is their message a warning? A trick? We can't know until we hear their words for ourselves. You bring weapons. You will not need them. We offer only truth. The darkness reached out. But something interferes. The witch sister of the Taken King, Savathun. Savathun. Oof, ça a stylé comme zone, non? We are the final line that halts the second collapse. Yourself, Guardian, this battle is not over. Oh, ça c'est la saison de maintenant qu'on va jouer dans quelques quelques instants. Oh, mais trop bien. Season of arrivals, and it starts any minute now at 10 a.m. Pacific. So today, we looked at a bunch of stuff. We talked about the Destiny content vault. We looked into the past to see kind of how we got to where we are today. We looked into the far future with the Witch Queen. Mais c'est parce que t'as pris un truc trop réaliste. We also talked about Beyond Light, which is the beginning Alors, of a new Alors Renaud, t'as dit que tu préférais le Serral Trésor. C'est tellement bon. If pre-ordering is kind of your thing, like the pre-orders are going to go live today. Like, On accepte. If you're interested, there's some, there's some sweet bonuses. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's kind of the, the summary of the show. T'aurais dû choisir un truc uh, nul. And you're, if you're excited about the start of Beyond Light and where we're headed, well the season arrivals, we, it's kind of like a prelude. You know, it's it's really Genre setting up that story, quoi. and so we encourage you to get in and play. There's one more thing I totally forgot. Uh, so today, at 5 p.m. Pacific, we're going to launch a brand new dungeon called Prophecy. A nouveau dungeon. Uh, Prophecy is a dungeon that involves the ah. mine. That's kind of like all I'm going to say about it. Mais je suis plus hype parce qu'il a été dit avant, mais cool, uh, cool. To get to with it, and then uh, we'll we'll we'll. we'll Mourir à pied, quoi. Un peu. But it's got a brand new set of armor. Oh, to chase. It's got. Some classic armor for you to chase. 
it's going to be at a really high power level, which means it's like a, a solid day's work plus a little bit of skill to, to summit that mountain. It's okay. free for all players. It's free for all players. And mm -hmm. we're going to show you a trailer in just a second. If you don't want to see anything from the dungeon, just click the little red X or like get on the stream. No, it's not. We're going to play the omelet. And then come back and the stream will be over and you can play, uh, you can play Season of Arrivals in Destiny 2. And I think that's the business side, right? We're like yeah. there. We're, we've think, think, we've yeah, handled everything. I think it's the, the time to say thank you all for tuning in and giving us your time today and just for playing Destiny and, and, and being part of this amazing community. It has and it will continue to be a journey. On behalf of everyone at Bungie, please, please. Putain, please, franchement, moi, je suis contente de ce qu'ils ont. Enfin, non, on fait un petit débrief yeah. juste après, mais. We'll see you soon. Ça a l'air Ça a l'air tellement bien. Mais what? Et c'est maintenant. Même la musique est trop vite. What the fuck? Mais. Mais. Du coup, là, c'est fini, on est d'accord? Je pense que c'est fini, hein. c'est ce qu'ils avaient dit. Euh, les gens? Wow, que de nouveauté Putain, eh. Je prends... Euh... <rire> je prends un mois de pause euh, sur une saison, il se passe des trucs comme ça. Je vais prendre des pauses plus souvent. Hein. <rire> wow Trop bien Ouais, je suis trop contente, franchement. Et comme j'avais dit, comme les gens m'avaient demandé, « Ouais, mais tu reviens sur D1 parce que D2, euh, t'as hype pas. » J'avais dit que la saison m'a hype pas actuellement. L'activité, la, hein, pas le, le lore ni rien. D'ailleurs, la, la quête du mensonge de Fénomère était très très bien. Euh... Et, euh, et j'avais dit, s'il y a quelque chose de bien sur D2 qui arrive, j'attends que ça. Et on fera les deux en même temps. Et voilà. Bah, je pense qu'on y est, hein. franchement, euh, propre. Propre de ouf.